All right, man. Back to it. Back to it. Uh, this Dre say, how do I recognize when I'm ranking men? All right. So this, the reason why I, I, these questions right here that I, I bunch like this, these were kind of like the females that felt as though they was ranking men and the men was detrimental to their life. Yeah, you know I'm saying the, the woman's edition joint that we did and shit. Like, cause them joints was actually coming in before we got to the woman's edition. When woman was like, I'm ranking this man and this man is dragging me through the mud. So like, so these is those questions right here. So let's get into those. You know what I mean? So a majority of these is women, some of them is men. All right, say how do I rec how do I recognize when I'm ranking men in the wrong order and putting myself in potential harmful situations? You, you you'll know it. What you mean? How you gonna know? When you don't got no fucking money for your rent because, you know what I'm saying, you giving this bum ass nigga money. Mm -hmm. That's how you know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You, you you don't need somebody to tell you. You see the shit. Them motherfuckers out there digging your street up somebody, we got to turn the water off. Like, you know what I mean? So, that's right there. You don't really need nobody to tell you that, I mean, it's no physical signs to see it. You just know that it's happening. You can't save money. This motherfucker only pop up when he needs something, and then when he, when he needs something, you feel obligated to give it to him. That's it right there, man. We mm. talked about this shit already. You already know. You that's what I'm saying. You already you, know. You know. Yeah. You know when this shit like I really I'm helping this dude out and I'm giving him my time and attention when I shouldn't be when he don't deserve it. Right. Know what I mean? But that but your move, like I said, yeah. I mean, y'all women, y'all y'all go more off emotion, less off logic. So your logic is telling you. I nah, bet you need your money for your bills and what you trying to do in life and handle your business and you need your time to do do what you trying to do. You giving it to somebody who you know don't deserve it. You feel a tough way about him, but you already know, like, I shouldn't be bothered with this nigga. I just, you know what I mean? I care about him, but I shouldn't be bothered with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all these goddamn questions. See, that's why we need a goddamn woman to step in from time to time and answer some of these goddamn questions because y'all be asking these questions that... I mean, that question was easy, but some of y'all wouldn't be asking questions. I'm like, y'all got to go to a woman with that. You know what I mean? Please. That's why we got to get a woman on this joint from yeah. time to time or somebody yeah. corresponding it would, be, it would be cool to have a woman on here from time to time. Get a woman's touch, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a corresponding Soften, soften the show up every now and then. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, this one right here, I think this came from an older, a older, a older lady. She said, why do some women continue to rank men in the wrong order even when they know they could be putting themselves in danger? Just because of whatever they rank that man for, I could be fucking the shit out of this broad mm -hmm. and be, yeah, you know I mean, piss poor, dead broke, busted and disgusted, and yeah, you know I mean, because I'm doing that, she she in love with me. Mm -hmm. Nobody never did that so the way she did, like the way I do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And because I know that, I'm the nigga gonna pop up on you. Yeah, I heard you got that income tax check. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, I'm still, I got this mixtape idea that I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Forty years old, you talking dumb shit, mm -hmm. and she gonna give you the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need money for a studio time. Nigga, that nigga, that, 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 that nigga hitting the back of that oven. Right. That nigga, I mean, that nigga, that nigga hitting the back of that oven got your goddamn legs shaking. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's just why that shit happened. Yeah, because, listen, because y'all goddamn emotional. Y'all go off emotion. True, true. Like you said, you know what I'm saying? So, so y'all emotional run y'all logic most of the time. Yeah. So, so. I don't even think emotional and logic go together. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because because what's the first thing is a man that you that they preach to you, you know what I mean? Is a major rule, man. No, you move off logic, not emotion. Right. But you taught that as a man. Right. Move off logic, not emotion. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all different. Y'all 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 go off emotion. So y'all can know this person ain't no good, but you care about them. Right. You feel a way about them, even though you know like you shouldn't even be bothered with a person. Right. That's yo, you know what's crazy? Wow, you just said that shit. So it's weird because she moved off emotion and he moving off of logic. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah. That's the crazy yeah. thing. About. Yeah, it's fuck it's logic it's logical to keep doing what I gotta do to get what I need from this shit. Damn. Like I mean, you know what I'm saying? You you shit you, is logical. Yeah, to him. Yeah. I'm just doing I'm, I'm just doing And it's this, emotional for you. Yeah, damn. It's logical for me, it's emotional yep. for you. Yup, exactly. That's exactly what it is, man. Uh, it's like, y'all going through it, man. What steps can I take to protect myself from men who may be dangerous or harmful, even if they rank higher in my life than they should? Why do you rank them that high? That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all like the danger. Y'all emotion. It's emotion. It's emotion. Y'all like that shit. That shit turn y'all on. Yo. Know what I mean? That's why y'all like goddamn street dudes. Yeah. 
the element of danger. Now I'm saying the whole person, I mean they right, but then it could be detrimental. Right. You know what I'm saying? Something about y'all biology as far as far as y'all biology that y'all just that y'all 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 just like that. Y'all just like men that's like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some of y'all like men that's like that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I saw this post, right? And the boy was like, he was asking ladies, he's like, Would you rather have a nine to five dude? Or a drug dealer, but he got a perk habit. Yeah, I seen that. You saw that, Joey? I seen that. Uh huh. And the chick was like, "How bad is the perk habit?" <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right, because in their mind, they think they think a drug dealer. Because you say, because you say you're a street dude and a drug dealer, that means you automatically going to have a bunch of money right. at a moment's no at, right. on hand at all times, which ain't true. Most of them dudes is most dudes is struggling. True. Most dudes true. Are struggling. Now, I mean, when you when you when they hit drug dealer. They think Big Meech. Right, right. Most of 99% of dudes ain't going to never be that. Right, right. Know what I'm saying? Most of these dudes, you know what I mean? Most dudes is struggling. Trust me. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? We come, know what I mean? We are from the hood. Trust me. Right. Know what I mean? Most dudes I know, like, yo, you might as well just go in and got a real job. Right. You wasting time. You, know, you ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You already taking a penitentiary chance and a chance with your life. And and, and and the money ain't going to even be worth it. You ain't even going to make the amount of money that is even going to justify even being out here. That's dumb for real, for real. Now, I mean, what you going to jail for, I'm about to get your head blown off for the same money that you can make at a regular job. You never, you're, you're never going to be on that level. Right. You don't got the mind, muscle, or hustle for that. Now, I mean, most dudes don't have the mind, muscle, or hustle. They even be successful in that business. They just doing it because they're, now I mean, they're from the hood and all that. Right. Now, I mean, they just don't have it. Now I mean you'll never now I mean you'll, you'll never be at an enterprise and get to that level. Now I mean that's why, side note, since we already talking about it, that's why everybody like, yo, why do they keep praising this BMF and they making TV shows and all that? And that was a detriment to people and all that, and that was bad. Nobody being praised because that shit is like amazing to people. Yeah. That he made it to that level that that you could have that type of operation, that you can build up that business, that type of enterprise like that, that infrastructure. To have it like that, right? To where you to, to where a black man is the biggest dude in the country doing it, right? Right. Now I mean that, that. Now I mean that's like amazing to people. You see what I'm saying? Especially now I mean that's why one of the reasons why he was able to do it for so long is because law enforcement did not believe that a black man could have an operation like that. Mm. They did not believe that black people can build an operation like that, even though it is wrong. <clears throat> Selling drugs is wrong, right? You know what I mean? All that is wrong. They didn't even believe it. Now I mean that's why they did not believe nothing for a long ass time. But like, yo, because they just dismissed it as do 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 ain't ain't no way that they that intelligent and all that the the and can can work together and build all that this type of operation, all of this infrastructure, layers of infrastructure and all that. Right, that right. shit is impossible for black black people to do. Right. See what I'm saying? So, like I said, back to the most people ain't gonna be that. Most dudes is not gonna be that. You know what I mean? So And if they are that, you ain't even on the level to meet them. Right. So I mean Yeah, you won't run into them yourself. I mean, like, but I mean I mean, but back to what she was saying, man, it's cause y'all run off emotion. You know what I mean? And I like I said, I mean, I'm not a woman to tell you what you can do about that. I'm not a woman that can tell you what to do about that because I'm not a woman. You know what I mean? So I just, to me, I, I could just say, man, do your best. I could just talk to you as if I was like your, your father or your brother or something like that and just say, do your best to try to make the right choice. And you know, a person is, a, a, a guy that you know is not for you and, 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 and it's no and it's no benefit and it's detrimental to you to even be around him. Just try to just cut that off. Right. You know what I mean? That, that's just my advice coming from, you, from a man to a woman. I'm not a woman to tell you exactly because I can't understand exactly how you feel because I'm not a woman. Right. That said, I'm a man. I move. I move off logic more than emotion, because that's how you taught as a man. You're supposed to move off logic than emo, than more, more logic than emotion. <coughs> so, question. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, you're right. Um, skip down to this drink because I was reading this drink. Let's say, uh, what are some warning signs that a man may be dangerous or harmful, and how can I protect myself from these type of men? Hmm. Dangers and harmful garden what? I don't know. I guess she's saying like, how can she do that and not not rank that man high? So what will be the signs going in that this man is that? Um, illegal activity. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, take or, you put the gun in your purse. That, that, yeah, that's a sign right there. Illegal activity. 
Um, the people we hang around. As far as that, I mean, it's as far as far as something else. Oh, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. God damn, what was I about to say? Okay, does does the things he asks you to do, like 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 take like like take from you instead of giving to you? Like people say, yo, pour put a pour into a person and all that. Right. Does he just always drain you and drag you? Everything you feel like is okay. He always needs something to the point that that's messing you up. You know what I mean? Oh, he always need he always need money, or he need me to do this and do that. That's really just taking away from my life, and he's not adding to my life. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now you know he a detriment in that way because if you always got me doing something risky for you or something, whereas. It don't benefit me none, but it benefit it benefits you, and it don't benefit me, and it takes away from me to give to you. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. Right. So, I mean, like you said, man, just those type of things. Yeah. You know what I mean, is he like people say, is he pouring into you? You know what I'm saying? Or you know what I mean, or, or, or is he constantly taking away and thing? You know what I mean? And you don't feel like you, you know I mean, and you feel like you're getting used. Now, I mean, you don't feel like you're doing something for a greater goal and all that, and it's gonna be greater later. No, you just coming around when just coming around when he needs something. You know what I'm saying? And you feel like you're getting dragged by him in life. You know what I mean? He's leaving you worse off. You know what I'm saying? He not, you know what I'm saying? You don't get nothing out of it, no, no type of feeling or, or nothing out of it, because he don't come around and contribute nothing to you. He take. So that's just the best way I could try to answer it. Cause you just didn't yeah. say about what. You just Cause you figure a lot of women, a lot of women rank men like that high because they want to feel needed. Mm-hmm. They like they love to feel like you know what I'm saying the motherfucker. He want to be around me. He want me regardless of what it is. You know what I'm saying because you know, in certain situations when you with a man and, and he working on purpose, sometimes you get caught up in that and you don't neglect the the partner that you with, but you so focused on building this thing for the greater good. You know what I'm saying so. Sometimes women get neglected in, in certain situations like that. You see that shit on like fucking dumbass shows and it'd be like, I cheated on him because he was never around. I'm like, I was at work. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean, shit like that. So, yeah. <laughs> that damn show cheaters. I'm going to pull up on him right now. They're at the restaurant. They're eating together. They sitting there holding goddamn hands. Dog. Fucking. And a whole lot of goddamn relationship. Or Joey Greco. Is that his name? Joey Greco? Yeah, was that what I sound 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 right? Yeah. He was a wild bull, dog, just running up on motherfuckers. Yeah, dog. you crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get the cameras and all that. Dog, he was wild as shit, just running up on motherfuckers. I was wondering, I'm wondering, like, okay, if you the person got caught cheating, but as far as TV go, don't you gotta sign like some paperwork uh, yeah, saying you could put that shit yeah, on like yeah. TV? But yeah. if I'm the one that got caught cheating. Why the fuck would I even sign it? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm embarrassed yeah, myself. I'm like, if I got caught cheating, don't but don't y'all gotta get my permission to put put this on TV? <laughs> no, but you be seeing the elaborate shit they be having. They be having like shit with like, be like the heat signatures right. through the joint. Like, yeah, we think that that's him right there. Wait a minute, all this one nigga cheating? <laughs> right. <laughs> you be like, y'all got all this high tech equipment for a nigga that's cheating? Right. Fucking what the shit fuck? Is- Got infrared and all that. Yeah, like, night, night. They had the night what? vision yeah. when they showed them out there. Duh. They out there, they out there hugging and kissing. <laughs> Look, y'all got night vision goggles. Got the night vision joint and all that. Like Yo. it's fucking mil- it's some military reconnaissance or something. Duh. Like fucking this Call of Duty. What the they fuck was is having it? it. Right, Yo, I think like it got to one season where the boy Peter Greco was not it no more, and it was like Peter Guns and shit. And the boy was like, <laughs> Peter Guns, you a cheater. <laughs> Like, yeah, this is cheaters. He's like, wait a minute. Yo, cause that shit like going around on Instagram and everything. He's like, it's cheaters. Peter Guns, you a cheater. How the fuck is you the host of the show? You a cheater. I'm like, yo, this shit wild, dog. This is takes one to no one, I guess. Cause I'm like, just having him on the show, that was that was wild, right? Oh, this shit wild. Like, oh my god, yo. This shit crazy, man. I forgot he was the host for cheaters yeah, for a dog, minute. Though. He was the host of cheaters for a minute, like I forgot about Peter that. Guns. <laughs> I forgot about that, yo. Duh, yeah, I forgot got, about that. He was. She just got crazy after a while. Like, all right, we just whoever's available, just get him and bring him in oh, so we can continue this shit, yo. But oh man, this joint right here says, uh, "How can I build up my self esteem and sense of self worth so that I'm less likely to rank men in the wrong order?" 
mm, I don't I don't know if that's that would be an issue. Cause you know what I mean, like we was young, it was the, the baddest bitches was still going for the drug dealers. I don't think them bitches was less confident or nothing. It was just that's what they preferred. That's what they was going after. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I don't know though. See, like I, I'm, I'm assuming that as a man, I'm assuming that because you know that that shit can be false confidence. Know what I mean? It could be a bitch walking around here. She acting like that, but inside she, you know what I mean? But so I don't know. I'm assuming that you know what I mean she, she was walking that super confident about it. So I don't really know. Uh, I, I, I don't have, a, I don't, I only have a question, an answer for that one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, she's burnt out, huh? So yeah, I'm like, it. yeah, because so so she can work on her self count so she don't go. I guess if she don't feel, I don't, I don't know. She don't, she she feel like because her insecurities or whatever she going through in life. Leaders, why, those why she, men leading certain men. Mm -hmm. I don't. I mean, I mean, did you would you mess with the same men? Before that, when you was up, like I said, some of y'all mess with the same man regardless of what y'all doing in life. Know True, what I mean? that's what I'm saying. It ain't yeah. got nothing to do with being broke because it's, it's, it's chicks who are doing well in life and they still pick the same type of dudes. Know what I'm saying? No matter what, know what I mean? Some of y'all like, like the same type of dudes no matter what y'all, how y'all feel in life and what y'all do. Like I said, we need goddamn struggling with these goddamn questions because we not women. Yeah. Trying our best to get through these. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm we, saying? I mean, we not women. I mean, whew, I don't even know really what to tell you. You know what I mean? I mean, because if you was a man, I just I know what to tell you. If you you're, you're a woman, I don't know if you just I don't know just try to. I don't know if you if you need to work on self, whatever you insecure about, just work on whatever getting your life together and like y'all say, try to get the negative energy out of your life and try to be more positive. Maybe that would. Wouldn't make you gravitate to the type of man you gravitate towards, or you know what I mean? I have no idea. We are fucking struggling with this shit right now because I'm not a woman. I feel you. I got some other questions, man. I'm gonna try to break break in and out. You know what I mean? So we can like answer some questions. This joint say, uh, "Earn an ISO, let a pot keep doing what y'all doing." ISO, what are some of the biggest challenges that you face as a young man and also face today? I would ask that question to Earn, but he would say getting past. The level on Resident Evil. So, that shit's for you. <laughs> I don't know. That shit don't bother me, man. <laughs> so, he said, well, what, what are some, uh, he said, what are some of the biggest challenges that young men face a day and that, that you face? And uh, what do you think that they can do to help? Because um, he know you're a deep thinker. Self, I mean, self-worth and having the confidence that. That 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 you can have a goal in your head and you can actually achieve it. Like I said, when you, when you when you come from, now we come from our community. We come from like certain places like the hood, the hood and all that type of stuff. People don't, and you got an idea in your head. People will look at you like you stupid for wanting to do something. But like I like I said, now I'm just like we saying here. If you if if you had in your mind that you came stood stood on the street on on, on a block and said, yo. We gonna take over this whole neighborhood. We are gonna be the biggest drug dealers in this city. Everybody, it's people that'll jump up everybody. and be down for it. Whole fucking block. Now what I mean, they think that goal can be accomplished. But if you said, you know what I'm gonna try to do, man? I was watching this TV show about flipping houses, man. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to flip a house, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the steps and I flip a house. That's the white man shit, dog. How you gonna you waste some time dumb. with that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This nigga over here daydreaming and shit, dog. Shit real out here. Right. Totally but if right. I said we gonna fucking, now I mean we gonna be the biggest baddest motherfuckers in this whole city. We gonna take this whole shit over. Let's do it. That fucking is impossible. Damn, that impossible fucking task. But they with that shit. Let's do Cause it. Cause in their mind, that's that's an attainable goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you say, yo, man, like I said, man, I'm gonna try to start my own business, man. Now, now, now I mean this building been. <laughs> Been, been, been closed down. I'm gonna see if I get this job, man, turned into a store. Oh, man, I ain't gonna do that shit, man. You know what I'm saying, you gotta go through all that shit, man. Then, I mean, then, then you gotta run it. You gotta get all the stuff in here, the food and all that shit. Man, that shit gonna be a headache. But you tell a motherfucker you don't go sell fucking drugs, they with it. Right. Yeah, I'll help you do that shit. Yeah, yo, we take over this whole shit. Like, come on, when I come to something legitimate, you know what I'm saying? 
You you look you looking at me like it's, it's, the shit is mission impossible. An impossible task ain't never gonna happen. Right. But if I say, man, we just gonna get some guns, we just gonna go out here and rob these niggas, take over every goddamn thing. Everybody's with it. Right. You right. know what I mean? So you gotta have the self worth to know that whatever you trying to do, you know what I mean, you can do it. There's gonna be people. It might be people around you that telling you that you're stupid for thinking like that. Yeah, Stay great. thinking positive. There's people that really think if you think positive, that's stupid and it's a waste of time. Right. There's people that really think that the only success a black man can have is if you do something illegal. That's the only way you're going to get ahead. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the only way you're going to have anything that you want is by you have to do something illegal to get it. Yeah. There's people who really think like that. It's just sad. Now get around, know what I mean? So you got to get around from, uh, know what I mean? Know what I mean? Get, get away from that. Um, you gotta get away from um a whole a whole like you said, the mentality, I mean the whole mentality of get get over the fact that you might have to work hard for something because a lot of our people are lazy. This is gonna be too hard to do, that's gonna be too hard to do, man. I'm not doing all this. You know what I'm saying? No, what you need to go do is Yo, you know what I mean? Get with one of them chicks that got that tax money, yo, and do this, teaching you how to just get by right. and use other people instead of, you know what I mean, building your own. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Having a, like, like, like I said, man, just, 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 just having, just knowing something is your purpose and going for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's something positive and sticking to that because everybody else going to want to be negative because negative seems like the easier route to get what they want. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, um, like you said, men in life period, you know what I mean? It's dick discipline. That's the main thing. Dick discipline. We we could tell by just the, the effect that this had. The what's your rank? Worrying about how a woman view you was uh, was, was was so, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? It was so crazy. You know what I mean? Y'all worry about that shit so much. Y'all ran them numbers up so much. Sure, that shit so much. That, that was crazy. We did a whole episode on dollar discipline. That shit barely kept, it's barely creeping up to that drink. Right. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You, you, you give me your knowledge and useful information. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, that shit getting overlooked. Right. This shit here, where y'all worried to death about females, you're worried to death about women. Now, I mean, yeah, you're right. Now, I mean, now, I mean that shows what their concern is. Yeah. We sitting here trying to give you useful information you carry on in life. Skipping right over that shit. We still on this. Right. We going like fucking three weeks on the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying? This is y'all main concern. Out of all the stuff we've been saying since we started this goddamn podcast. Yeah. Oh, people, this is y'all main concern? People that I talk to tell me that like, yo, the way y'all channel is constructed, y'all channel shouldn't even have a video that's doing that many views. Mm. It was like, because of the, the, the subscribers that y'all got, y'all so young, y'all shouldn't even have a video that had that many views. Mm -hmm. That's all y'all care about, though. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you, you show how much you care about that, rather than we give y'all something that's gonna that's gonna be empowering and you can carry with you through the rest of your life. So you know what I mean? It, that's what it is, man. Yeah. So if women didn't exist, men, trust me, men would be way more focused than they are right now. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. With that, I mean, that's some of the, now I mean, some of the main things. Now I mean, your discipline. Now I'm saying this one. Not not with your dick. You know what I'm saying? And you're feeling, not, not I mean, your, 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 your self worth, even when ain't nobody else, not, not I mean, even when other people around you may not be focused on the positive. You know what I'm saying? Right. May not want to, you know what I'm saying? And understand that you want to take, your, what you want in life may be the long road. When everybody trying to take the shortcut in the fast lane to try to get fast money. Right. You know what I mean? That's going to be y'all main prop. You know what I mean? Things that y'all got to go through. You know what I mean? Especially, you know what I mean? Being young. Because a lot of y'all at y'all age, but y'all gonna think, am I gonna take the long road? I'm gonna go out here with the, everybody else or some of my people, some of my friends that's out here, they about to hit these streets and try to and try to get theirs, man. Should I go out there and do that and try to get mine too? Or should I take something that I may not get a pocket full of money right away? Or I, I go sell drugs, everybody saying that damn man, my man just sold drugs. Yo, he only been doing that shit for a couple weeks. He got a pocket full of money. All right, mom, I may not have it like that, but in the long run, I can get what I want. And then still be, you know what I mean? And have a better chance of even being alive. See what I'm saying? That's going to be y'all main thing. You know what I'm saying? So so good luck to y'all, man. Just try to, like, we're going to take the long road, man. Understand. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's not going to come with money right away. Right. You know what I mean? It's not like selling drugs where somebody can put you on and in a couple of days you got a pocket full of money. Right. 
You see what I'm saying? But then, okay, you got it now, but look how fast, you know what I'm saying? Easy come, easy go. When right. I say easy come, easy go, that means your life, your freedom. When I say you know what I mean? easy come, easy go. Yeah, that money can come easy, but what's going to go can be your life or your freedom. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what you want to worry about. You know what I'm saying? So so, so, so those were the two challenges, man. Being being a person that think different around people who everybody just wanted to run out in the street because they feel like that was going to be the easiest way to get money. Right. Most, I mean, most of the people, like I said, a lot of our people that we grew up with are dead or in jail. We run into somebody and say, I ain't seen such and such. Oh, he been dead for a couple years. Oh, no, he been got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he tried to, he tried to rob a bank. Like, yeah. damn. What happened to such and such? He went to school with man. I ain't seen him in, I ain't seen him in 20 years. Oh, no, 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 I mean, he got killed. Like, damn. You know what I mean? So, so, so that's going to be your challenges, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Your, the whole nod to self, you know what I'm saying, and your purpose and knowing that. That you want more than this, and, and and the world. Remember, the world is bigger than the neighborhood that you're growing up in. True. Now I'm saying that some you're gonna be around people that that, that neighborhood is their whole life. Right. And that's all they're concerned about. That and like you said, dick discipline is pussy. Right. Worry too deaf about that. Spending their whole life chasing pussy. Right. Everything they doing is to try to get some ass. Now I'm saying you gotta. Now I mean you gotta just be like. Like, like, just like discipline with that and just knowing that, okay, what I want is not going to become right. I'm not going to get it right away. Right. But I'll get it and it'll be greater later. So that's all, man. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that, man. I mean, definitely. I, I hope you take that and run with that, man. Yeah, that was. Uh, my man said, uh, how do you balance the demands of family life and being a good husband and father while also pursuing your own goals and dreams? Uh Guess that's one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't I don't balance them. All of them to me is important for the next thing. You know what I'm saying? Me being a good father is what makes me be a good husband, and those are the reason why I, I, I run so hard toward my, my my goals and my dreams because of my family. You know what I'm saying? So people be trying to separate separate them. Me myself, uh, my family is the reason why I, I go so hard at the things that I go hard at. You know what I'm saying? Why I do what I do. You know what I mean? So that that. It's not nothing that I separate that I really have to balance. They all within the same, you know what I mean, bundle for me. And they all have the same, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, I would say the same meaning, you know what I'm saying, for why I do what I do, you know what I'm saying? So it's not so much that I got to separate this one and I'm I'm a father today and then I'm a husband this day and now I'm trying to get my goals. To me, they all equally important and they all, you know what I mean, push for me to, you know what I mean, go after my, my goals and my dreams. Uh, this joint say, what advice do you have for young men who are struggling to find their way in the world and figure out what they want to do with their lives? I think you already answered that just with what you just said, unless you want to go deeper. Mm. Um, I mean, basically she just answered that. Yeah. But I can say, if you're trying to figure out what you want, now I mean, what do you like? Now I mean, something that you like, but at the same time, you have to still make money. You know what I'm saying? So 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 it gotta be some balance. You can't be, well, well I wanna be an artist. And right. then most of the artists ain't gonna make a dime. You don't make what? Yeah, they, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, do something, try, try to figure out things that you might enjoy, you know what I mean? And try to like figure you know I mean, something find find something that you can enjoy that makes money that you that you might not even know that you like that you like. It's like it's like I phone you know I mean I started liking real estate because you know what I mean? Back when like the shows first started coming on TV, flipping houses and all that, that gave me like an interest. And I started talking to people that that that's what they do. You know what I mean? They 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 into real estate, and I started from, that just started to interest me. I never thought that I that would that would interest me. You know what I'm saying? I never thought real estate would interest me. You know what I mean? But I found out that it do. You know what I mean? You don't know what you like, but you know what I'm saying. But I'm I'm fortunate enough that that I'm that I'm putting into something that. Can make a lot of money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Most millionaires in this country are millionaires from make make their money real, their money from real estate. They made their first million dollars or whatever from real estate. So I'm into something. So I just fortunate that I like something that that can make a lot of money. You can't waste time, okay, with something that don't make no money. You know what I mean? That's a goddamn hobby. It's a passion project. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's more of a goddamn yeah, like a goddamn hobby type of thing. Right. Where it's like, no, you gotta figure out with something that can make money. You have to be logical. Right, you can't be wasting your time on something, and then the, the, the okay, you achieve the goal, but the goal ain't going to sustain you none. You don't make a dollar off of it, right? You know what I mean? So, so you got to figure out something that 
Try, try, I mean, try, try to find something that you could like that 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 you like that could also sustain you and take care of you. Right. Some 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 type of way you can make some profit off of it. You know what I mean? This is America, land of capitalism. You know what I'm saying? And then you're worried about trying to do charity and all that, or do something like you said, passion project later once you right. got some money coming in. But you have to make some goddamn money. You do you have to make some money. You have to be able to take care of yourself and the people around you, you know what I'm saying, and provide. You know what I mean? So so that's where the rub come in. You know what I mean? Where it's not you just sitting around, you know what I mean, you worried enough about something that ain't gonna make a damn dollar. Like, yo, you was waste, you ain't gonna make you ain't you can't live off that. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta do this over here first. Then what you can say to yourself, then you can go do this over here and not because it don't matter whether they make money or not. Right. You know what I mean? Just like when I went to school for real estate, um, my teacher, she was she was a real estate investor, but she teach. But but she she but she teach because she she made so much money in real estate, she just teach because she love it. She don't need to check. I check the check check don't mean nothing in her no more. Right, right. She <clears> teach it because she could afford to teach cause she love it. Right. But she couldn't live off. You know what I mean? She she'd be the first to tell you, like, I couldn't live off just being no teacher. Right. You know what I mean? I'd be struggling. She made her money in real estate and then she could afford and now she had the time and money to do what she loved doing, which is teaching. You gotta be like that. You know what I mean? You gotta find something that you can make money. And then okay, then now 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 you got the money to do other things because you don't you're not stressing about making money from that. Right. You do it for the joy or whatever, or if, like I said, if it's charity or something like that. And doing something for somebody else, you know what I mean. So, I, you know I mean, I hope that helped. Yeah, I feel you definitely, definitely. Um, all right, you see, I'm trying to trying to break in and out of you, right? So we don't just get bam, bar, bombarded with all these female questions about this. How can I break out of the cycle of ranking men in the wrong order and put myself in situations that are detrimental to my well being? I feel as though we already answered that with a couple of the other female questions that we answered. Yeah, I mean, so we'll move on. It says, is there a way to determine which men should be ranked higher in my life and which men should be ranked lower without being judgmental and unfair? I don't understand why we feel as though me being a judgmental or unfair is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that just is what it is. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we getting too sensitive in life. Like, mm -hmm. where you can't. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to offend nobody, so I don't want to be, I don't want to be judgmental and unfair. Mm -hmm. No, nah, like if, if I don't like something, I don't like it. Yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. if you like it, then you like it. So, uh, stop. First off, stop worrying about being judgmental and unfair because, yeah, you know I mean, your type is your type. Like I, I sit on here, my type is my type. So if, if a woman was to step to me, that's not my type. Uh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You know what I'm saying, but you know, uh, I'm not interested. Like I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to appease everybody for me. This is me. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, uh, is there a way to determine which men should be ranked higher in my life? That's up to you. And which men should be ranked lower without being... Those things are up to you. But stop worrying about being judgmental and unfair, you know what I'm saying, for people in your life. It, 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 it just is what it is. Uh... What role does education... These, see, these, these, these the new listeners I can tell that we got from the joint, they be talking to you. What role does education and personal development play in achieving success and happiness in your life, ISO? And how can we make sure that we are consistently growing and learning? Got the deep thinkers. You've been pulling them out with that. Read it again. All right. It says, uh, what role does education and personal development play in your life, ISO, in achieving success and happiness? And how can we make sure that we are consistently growing and learning? Constantly taking, listen, okay, all right. Ed, I mean, education and personal develop, personal development, yes. Education, yes. Are you talking about formal education? Because, like I said, I learn, I don't learn more from YouTube than schooling. Exactly. I got you. Know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Listen, man, your phones, these computers, this internet, you can learn a lot. Know what I mean? It's about what, it's, it's about what you're consuming. Or you on here just looking at? Uh, I, I don't. Is this a man or a woman? You know if it's a this man or a woman. This is a mixed audience, so it might be a man. You know what I'm saying? If you a man, like I said, you got to take time to educate yourselves on here. You know what I'm saying? It's people talking about whatever you trying to learn about. Yes. It's a vid. Trust me, it's a video on YouTube for free. 
know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The problem is most of these people just spend, not, not, I mean, most dudes spending all their time just looking at chicks and fat asses on that damn on, right. on their phone all day. Right. You know what I mean? You ain't sitting there listening to nothing that's going to educate you. You know what I mean? I mean, listen, you getting all this knowledge, you getting a bunch of knowledge for free. It's all these podcasts, all these videos out right. on the internet and all that. Uh, people teaching you whatever you want to know. It's some, trust me, somebody got a podcast about, somebody make videos on YouTube about. You know what I mean? Just you know I mean? take the time to listen. I mean, that could be education. All education ain't always, you know what I mean, books sitting in the class. Right. Like I said, I don't learn way more about real estate on the damn internet than I did when I went I mean the class, even though I mean shout out to her, not my teacher, I mean when a great a great person, but I mean you reading out you reading out of a book, or you sitting around and getting and getting not I mean sitting on YouTube watching videos from like a bunch of different people that's all doing real estate that you can learn something from. Now I mean that tell you everything they did good, everything they did bad, all this knowledge is out here. Know what I mean? But like I said, now if you're a man, you got all this knowledge out here, but what is you worrying about your whole life? Where my pussy? Right. <clears throat> you got all this knowledge, and you spending all goddamn day on your phone. The only time you're on your phone is when you watching a video of a chick, or you're watching porn, or you're on this joint trying to DM a chick, or you're trying to text or call a chick to come over to get some at. That's all you consumed about. Know what right. I mean? That's all you worried about. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, like I said, you got all this information. So that way, you know, what I mean? you got, you got, you got. If all you doing is, you know what I mean, you getting all information, and all you are doing is paying the phone bill. You paying the phone bill, you got access to all this information. Right. So now, what you do with that is, now you can, now, now you can, now you get the information. You can network. There's times where I, where I go on there, I leave a comment. People say, you know, what I mean? you can ask me a question. Ask a question. You go back and forth with people that somebody in a whole different part of the country is is, is doing real estate. You know what I mean? You ask them a question. You know what I mean? They'll answer the question and go back and forth. Right. Now I mean they'll send you a phone. There's people out there. Everybody ain't charging for they now. Some people just want to just teach, just like teach other people and share what they know. You know what I mean? So that way, now I mean get it like that, and then your happiness. Then now I mean that way you can, now I mean you can build and hopefully try to do something that you have to get some enjoyment out of. Right. So you just not working doing something you hate doing. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I trust me, I've been around a lot of I'm, I've been around people that just they just they, they just doing what they got to do for the check. Sometimes you got to do that in life. Right. But you don't want to spend your whole life doing that. You see what I'm saying? So the whole personal development is just, you know what I mean, getting better. And then you got to apply You got to apply the knowledge because you don't want to have what they call um, paralysis by analysis where you just sitting around. You know so what much mean, information, getting, you yeah. ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's the action. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? You, know I mean? you got to take action. You know what I mean? Just go. You know what I mean? Just like y'all seen with this podcast. We just, we just went. Right. You know what I mean? This podcast, we didn't even have video when we first started. Right. We literally were just talking into a phone. Right. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Now you see, now I mean we got the now we got some of the equipment and all that. Right. We got the video. We didn't start with this, y'all. We didn't start from video with day one. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you just now I mean just learning as you go along and all that. So I mean that could just help. You know what I mean? You gotta find a purpose, something that you that makes you happy. Because you might be in a person like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this nine to five. This is what I gotta do right now. I don't really enjoy it, but this is what I gotta do. Okay, find find something else that you can do after that. You know what I'm saying? That 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 brings some type of joy or happiness. So you're not just sitting around just, oh man, same shit, different day. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't be one of them type of people. You don't be right. some of them like, miserable people. You know what I mean? Mentally and emotionally miserable all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. Yeah, man. Plus, you gotta see a lot of y'all. Y'all be wanting the answers. Y'all like want the answers. Y'all want the exact answer. You know what I'm saying on how to do this shit. Y'all want. I mean, not not the information. The information you 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 utilize the information to get to the answers for you. Y'all mm -hmm. just want the answers. Yeah, no. Yo, how do y'all start a podcast? What should I be talking about? I take don't your fucking journey. know. Yeah, yeah. It's your goddamn journey. It ain't our, that ain't our journey. Right. This, this is our journey. You right. gotta find out your journey. <laughs> That's how they be. They just they want the answers. What should we be talking about? What what's 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 good that what what do y'all talk about? What should we talk about? Like, I don't fucking know. Cause the same thing, the things we talk about, you might not be able to talk about. Yeah, you know I'm saying the shit you talk about, we might not be able to talk about. So I, I don't know. Like y'all, you the if like you said, the information is there. You gotta utilize the information. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just want motherfucker to bring y'all to bring it to y'all. How can 
You know what I mean? Y'all just want y'all just want somebody to come to you and just hear this is this is it. No, you gotta you gotta figure that shit out for yourself, man. Yeah, man, the Jay Z shit, man. Know what I mean, I just want you to fish for him. Know what I mean, yeah. catch clean, cook up the dish for him. Straight up, that's what it is. Know what like, mean? no, you gotta the information is there for you to do it yourself. Y'all want motherfuckers to do it for y'all. No, man, you yo, you got the you got you equipped to do that shit yourself. To go do what you gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh. How can we? Is that the one I wanted? to... No, no. Here we go. It say, "How do uh, how do you navigate romantic relationships in the modern world, ISO? And what advice do you have for finding and maintaining healthy, fulfilling relationships?" So he's trying to say, "How do you how do you maintain a relationship in this modern day world?" <laughs> you asking the wrong motherfucker. They they asking you. They asking, you asking the you. wrong motherfucker. Why is you asking me? I don't know. Maybe it could be a woman you, that's curious Ern, about your life. Ern is married. Won't you ask him that? He married. I would say, uh, how do you... <laughs> what the fuck you asking me for? It could be somebody inquiring about I your mean, life. I'm, a, I'm out here. I mean, I listen. You ain't I'm stopping not, and popping. <laughs> I'm sticking in. I'm, I've been sticking and moving so long in goddamn life. I'm not going to be asking this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, you got somebody that been married for over a decade. <laughs> what you asking me? Oh no, they just listen, man. You just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maneuver, maneuver through life and, and figure out. You know what I mean, what what you looking for in a woman? There, you ain't never gonna find everything in a woman that you want. But as right. long as she check enough boxes that you cool with, you make it work. And you gotta understand like that. The person I'm with today not gonna be the same person tomorrow and the same person next week. I gotta understand that this woman gonna change. Am I willing to change with her? Now I'm saying because you might be like, listen, man, this. Know what I mean, because you know, women change in size, physical appearance. Women change in attitude, and you can be like, man, this shit getting bigger and bigger, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, I'm just mm. saying, like it could be something like that, mm-hmm. or it could just be like, yo, shit, her mood swings is getting on my nerves because you know, women go through menopause. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make that decision in your mind, like. She's going through these changes. Do I want to go through these changes with her, or you gotta you gotta determine them things early? You know what I'm saying by 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 that because you don't want to be in that like we said before. Be a motherfucker being in a relationship forty years and then fucking bought another house and he be somewhere by himself. So you know what I mean. You don't want to waste that time. Figure that out. You know what I mean, try to go with somebody that you as happy as you could be with, and you know what I'm saying make it work. Make it work, man. You know what I'm saying. Uh, this Jay says it was another joint I wanted to get to that was kind of oh here it is this is a joint that was kind of wow this joint say should I seek professional help if I find myself constantly ranking men in the wrong order and put myself in danger constantly putting yourself in danger in what type of way Listen, you call, she you, said she needs professional is you, is help you like, yeah you need professional help shit now I mean wow. that sound now I mean that sound I mean are you talking about cause you you might like street dudes and you run, you know what I'm saying? To where you get into that 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 element of danger to where, you know what I mean? They deep in the streets where they can, you know what I mean? They taking penitentiary chances and chances with their life. Right. And that could affect you. You know what I'm saying? Or, I don't, you sound like you went to some crazy, I don't know. That, yeah, that's yeah. a wow. Um, that's, all, that's why I wanted to get that digital Professional wow. help? Yeah. I uh, mean, I mean, if you want to talk to somebody about something that may happen in your life, you know what I mean? That you might have been through something traumatic or whatever you might have been, something that happened in your past, your childhood, the way you think therapy might help you, then by all means, go ahead. If not, I mean, it might help. You know what I mean? It might help, figure, you know what I mean? help you understand why you choose these type of men and all of that. So if you feel like you need the help, you know what I mean? You might want to go get the help or talk to somebody. It might help you. It might help you in life. It might help you understand yourself better. You know what I mean? Make better, understand you why, why you're making the choices you making and help you make better choices. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I mean, if you can, I mean, if you can't do it, I don't know how much that costs or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I think like that's far gone. You're I talking think, about you need professional help. I don't know how bad that is. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, see, the thing about it, we, 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 we making an assumption that she picked the men. It could be one dude. 
know yeah. what I'm saying? It could be one dude and he just always pop up and he into some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. He in jail, he pop up and he always, you always just fall for him. Mm-hmm. It could be one nigga. It don't got to be multiple dudes. Mm-hmm. And you just don't know how to break yourself away from him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I always, I always had the assumption in my head that uh, a female should have a man in her life, be it a cousin, brother, uncle, whatever, that can help you in certain situations. But then... The older I get, I realize that like, damn, females be going through shit, and it's like they be by themselves. Like they, I'm like, I'm like, you don't got nobody to call. You know what I'm saying? They, they get you out of this situation. No uncle, no brother, no cousin. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. So I, I don't really know, man. Uh, this Jay says, uh, this must be another joint. Say, how can we get these deep thinkers now and shit? How can we break free from the negative cycles? And patterns that are common in our communities and create better lives for ourselves and our families. Yeah, be willing, be willing to go against the grain. You know what I'm saying? Stand, stand, stand for whatever, stand for what you stand for, and stay ten toes down with it. Like I said, you know what I mean? You got you, you got to battle, you got to battle the negative mindset. Mm. You got to battle. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, you got the whole thing of self worth. You know what I'm saying? And feeling like you, you know, you. I mean, you can do something in this world. You can accomplish something that's not had nothing to do with being doing something illegal, because that's how our community think. You know what I mean, they truly think that to get ahead, to get anything, you want to do something illegal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They got them, they got them geniuses when it comes to doing something wrong. Everybody right. gonna know how to do the, do a whole goddamn elaborate scam, and you do this and do that and do this. No, you do this and then you take this statement and then you take this. And then you take this bank account number. People can do all that type of stuff that the motherfucker can do. You know what I'm saying? You know, I do all that. You know what I mean? I do all that when it comes to something wrong. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But then when it comes to something doing right, man, I ain't got time to be doing all that. You got to do all that. And then you got to work, stack the money up, and then try to go buy the house, then get the loan, then try to flip. You the same person that can sit and tell me how to do some, how to do some goddamn scam. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, you do it's this, then the third, then you hit up this, you get this number from this, and then you and then you take it to the bank and you do the, you know how to do all that though. You gonna do all that to make a you gonna you, you gonna you gonna do all that for a couple hundred dollars. You doing all that and you taking all that you taking all you taking a penitentiary chance for for that for that little ass bit of money. <laughs> right, right. Right. It ain't even a lot of money what you doing all that for though. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta just now, like we said, man, now when you stay positive, stay positive. And I mean, understand, because you're going to have a bunch of people standing around you that's going, no, nah, man, I'm about to go out there in that street. Right. And you got to make your choice whether you're going to go out there, you know what I mean? If you're going to go out there, you're going to take the long road. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we basically answer. I mean, basically answer the same question over <laughs> yeah, and over again. Yeah, I know. That's where we That's where we at now. Uh, pretty much, did we ask all of you? All right, so. What are some strategies that I can use to avoid falling into the trap of making men based on superficial factors like looks or money? What are some of the traps that you can use so you don't do that? Uh, don't do it. Mm-hmm. Like I, I mean, like I, I, say, I, y'all go off for of, y'all females, y'all 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 go off for of more emotion. Right, right, so, right. So that matters to y'all if he make you wet. Right, you know what I'm saying y'all going off emotion, y'all right. going off the feeling. Right. You know what I'm saying? He might be a dude doing absolutely nothing with his life. He ain't focused on nothing. He ain't ambitious. But you like the way he talk. You got a good conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And all that. Come around. I mean, like you said, make you laugh. He might be physically attractive and all that. Yeah. He may hit the back of the oven. Yeah. You know what I mean? How you got them legs shaking and all that. So y'all going off all that feeling and emotion. And then but logic could tell you I shouldn't be bothered with him because it ain't nothing else to him. Yeah. Like I said, y'all def- no, I mean that's more of a woman thing that y'all deal with. Y'all, y'all, y'all emotion, you know what I mean, overruns y'all logic. Plus, you know, a lot of women feel like, you know what I'm saying, I, I can change him. I can I if I want to mm-hmm. I can make him do better. He's gonna, you know what I mean? Like, nah, that man is who he is. You wasting your time trying to change that man. He he been like that. Motherfucker be 30, 40 years old. You talking about you gonna change a 30, 40 year old man. No, that's how he is. He's he's been a bum all his life. He gonna be a bum for the rest of his life. Listen, man. Listen, you got motherfuckers that senior citizens telling dudes telling old lady they sixty years, they seventy years old. 
telling him I'm changing my ways. Motherfucker, you got you got one foot in the ground, still using the same game as you your whole life on chicks. You know what I mean? I'm trying. I'm uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to better myself. You know what? You seventy five years old. <laughs> you on deck? You gonna change how you on deck? Why <laughs> you about to change? How you gonna change? This motherfucker. Yo, cuz. I mean, yo, motherfucker, you on deck? <laughs> yo, yo on deck man. for what? Yeah, I'm saying. Upper room, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Said that upper room, nigga. You talking about you not been, not been praying, read my Bible in right. my room, right? Right, hitting y'all right, the same. You. Trust me, right, trust me, you. hitting you this day, though, they whole life. Yeah, well, it's gonna be old, still running that game. Chicks believe in that shit. Yeah, cause he know he knows it's gonna work. You know what I mean? He knows it's gonna work. So you know what I'm saying? You like, I, I got it. I got it right where I wanna. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he know that shit gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this James, we almost done, man. We finishing up, y'all. How can I take? How can I talk to my friends and family members about my struggles with ranking men in the wrong order without feeling ashamed or embarrassed? Damn, it sounds like I mean you got an issue with you dealing with a bunch of knuckleheads, nothing ass niggas. You can't get rid of them. Speaking of, this shit just popped in my fucking head right while I was reading this. Why on baby boy was we mad at Tyrese? But this bitch had a fucking convict out of jail watching her son. Did you heard you? Did you think about that shit? Snoop Listen. came from jail, dog. <laughs> Listen, her life was that bitch. Life was her fault. Dog. See, that's what I mean. Glad you brought that up. Duh. That's what I mean. <laughs> Wrong niggas. Right. You pretty. Wrong you niggas. working every day. Right. You with one dude that ain't doing shit with his life. The other dude was a street dude. Right. That's who some of y'all are. Yeah. But the like, name is Baby Boy, like, like he was wrong. No. Yeah, that's what I'm like, yo. Like, picking the wrong men. Yeah. You picking the wrong men. You you picking do nothing dudes and street dudes. Right. And then mad at everybody else. You mad because she got to go get a date. What's the joint when she even got an abortion? Yeah. 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 He ain't doing nothing with his damn life. Yeah. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? I, I say he come home, come right. Come, now I mean Snoop come home. He come right in the damn house. Right to the Yo, spot. Some of y'all, y'all y'all own goddamn prom. You know what I'm right. saying? That, that right there is a prime example. Right. Are you, <laughs> are you bringing that to your own life and then crying about you getting dragged in life? Right. You feel like you got to do everything by your damn self. What the things you picking? That's a problem. Yo, I'm glad you... Yeah, man. <laughs> no, that shit jumped right in my head when I was talking about it like... The fuck? But it's the men. See what I'm saying? Right. Now nah, men don't provide. To, y'all don't build up the community. You a fucking beauty. You know what I mean? Pretty as a motherfucker. Working every day. Choosing the wrong dudes. That's a prime example of that. Right. That's a prime example. Because that's how. That, yo, that's real life for a lot of these shit. Right. It is. Got everything in the world going for them. Messing with the worst dudes you can find. Come on, man. She's pretty as hell. You couldn't find no better dude. I, I mean, I understand it's a movie. So right, for the right. base of... That movie's based on real life. It's, That's real life for a lot of chicks. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's exactly what it is. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know I mean, you worried about goddamn baby. What about your ass? You chose them. Right. You chose these dudes. You couldn't tell me she couldn't find no dude that was doing right in life. Right. Pretty as she was. Even when you break that shit down, remember, remember his mom, she was going through the same issues. His mom was going through the same issues. His pop wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? She messing with a nigga that's fresh out of jail. You know what I mean? He pushing that. What, what'd you say? He know how to touch the back of the oven, though. Right. Shit, he was right. Now I'm saying they are now wearing a butt naked. <laughs> got a swinging off the ceiling fan. She going up a motion. He in the back of that oven. He in the back of that oven, though. Now I mean? So he cool. He can stay here. You know what I mean? He walk around his joint butt ass naked. He just got here. That, listen, that's a prime example that that right. that whole the de, you know, degenerates, right? Degeneracy, right. man. Yeah, that right there is a good good example of it. Yeah, that's just crazy though. Duh. Yeah, right. Because throughout all them situations, we blame the man, but the woman you you don't want to put yourself in these situations. 
Know what I'm saying? Why is a motherfucker even able to put you down as this where I'm going to be at? My, my primary residency when I get out of the fucking jail. Now you got this nigga up in your spot. Come on, man. Like, yo, we all, you got to do better, man. You got to do better, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm sorry. I didn't even ask you your question, but your question was, how can you break free from the negative cycles? No, no, my bad. It was about somebody. Oh, how can I talk to my friends and family members about struggles with ranking men in the wrong order without feeling ashamed or embarrassed? Mm-hmm. Um, that's what made me think of that shit. Cause I'm like, what is you going through that? You gotta talk. You gotta talk to your family about it. Cause your family probably on the ass. Like, why you keep bringing these dickheads right. around? Right, right. You right. can't mess. Come on now. All, all these better men. Now, I mean, especially if they probably feel like you're a nice girl or you might be physically attractive or whatever. Right. Why is you messing with the worst dudes? I know it's better dudes out here. Right. It's better men out here. Right. So they probably on about that. Like, yo, it's better dudes out here. You know what I mean? Cause. That's how I was, you know what I mean? Some some women in my own damn family. Like, yo, it's, it's, it's better dudes out here. I feel you. I don't yeah. get it. You know what I mean? I, I feel you on that. Yeah, like, um, I, I, I don't know how you can go about, like, if I was you, if you feel embarrassed about it, then, you know what I'm saying, that, that might be a good thing. Right. You embarrassed about it, you know what I'm saying, that just, you don't go down that road no more. Fuck, you know what I mean, feeling embarrassed. Don't do that shit no more. So don't, you know what I mean, the embarrassment is, you know what I mean, and feeling ashamed about it, Use that. Use those emotions to stay away from that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Man. But yeah, yo, that shit was just popped right in my head when we saw about that shit. And that shit called Baby Boy. He he's Because he acts like a child and he, every, he wants everybody to be his mother. I'm like, all right, whatever. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all started having babies by him because he had like two baby mamas in the drink, right? Yeah, he did, yeah. They was both bad with a nothing dude. <laughs> they had a baby with a nothing ass dude. Yeah. He driving her car all around, you know what I mean? Pick up, not, not picking her up off work and shit like that. And she accepting it. You know what I mean? Everybody giving him an ass. He did do nothing, nigga. Right. But the thing about it, like, you know, we we almost done, you know what I mean? So we, we can talk about this movie while we into it. Think about it. When he got to the point that want to move on, she was upset that he was ready to move on. Remember when, he, when she was like at the door, he was like, he don't love me no more. Then don't, ain't that your exit plan? Like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, yeah, cool then, move on. Like, you heartbroken about this shit. Like, I'm like, yeah, but yeah, you right, dog. Yeah, try to make it seem like, yeah, it's the. I mean, I understand the, the message that he's trying to get, a, the, I mean, to young men about, you know, get your life together right, and all yeah, that type yeah. of stuff. But come on, man, the, 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 chick, the, chicks, is, the chicks was picking, y'all, y'all was picking nothing ass dudes. <laughs> I was picking nothing there, dude. Now I understand Melvin got his life together. He got his business and all that. Yeah, yeah. He's a jail dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but even Mel, like, that's another whole other situation right there that we talk about. My man, he moved in too strong, though. Like, yeah, you know, you don't moving in on a woman household like that. Yeah. She got kids. Like, even if he is grown. Yeah, I'm here now, young boy. <laughs> you got to leave. What? Oh, all right, man, but let's just... Nah, nah, I don't think... Nah, he ain't never say that. She no, said he, that. I know he didn't say that, but that's, that's why, that's like, why you the, the go opportunity get presented own. itself because he was there. Yeah, because she's trying to walk around his joint getting fucked buck naked. But ass naked. Walk around his house getting fucked all around in the every goddamn room of his house. First off, oh, I mean, geez, why you in my kitchen with no pants? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want some eggs? Now, I mean, because Melvin did try to go do and drop some knowledge on him. He did. You know what I'm saying? They weren't receptive of the knowledge because you ain't his day. We know he trying to teach you, know what I mean, how to how to go out here and get something. Now I mean what now I mean the value, what the value and all that. Right. And that, and that that's you know, there's a lot of dynamics in that movie, man. It was, it was. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, it was, it was. Um Ernan Iso, how do you guys maintain strong friendships? Yeah, you know I mean, and being supportive in the world where everyone is so busy and disconnected. Uh I don't know. We just just who we are. Like I mean, our personalities just happen to mesh together. Um, know what I'm saying then, I don't really know. And then and then and then we we all like you said we're in our forties, so yeah, we grew up without this social media. Know True. What I mean? There you go. Yeah. Social media didn't come around till we was growing. A lot of y'all is younger, so right. Now I mean, this stuff been around for half y'all life. Right. Know what I mean, this shit is y'all life. Right. 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 It's not ours. Right. You know what I'm saying? We come from. Hanging out with each other, being around each other, not right. staring at your phone all day. Right. Now I mean, bro, not having no phone. We didn't get a phone till he's grown. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we had time to build that, build, build on a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Cell right. phone. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have cell phones till we was grown. Right. A lot right. of y'all grew up with that in your, in your hand. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
Now I mean, be in your own world, even though y'all run a bunch of people, y'all all in your own world. Right. Sitting there, staring at y'all phone. You be seeing people like that. Now, now just out in public, staring at their phone. Like I said, now I mean, how many people almost bump into me because they looking at their phone? Yeah. About to walk out into the street or walk into a telephone pole, walk into a door because you looking at your phone? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, now I mean, I, unfortunately, we, we, we at an age where that, that that's that's really not no problem. Right. For us, you know what I mean? Like I said, y'all, you, you probably somebody from a different generation, a younger generation than us, where that's an issue. True. We all can all be sitting around, but everybody got Air, AirPods on and not listening and not conversating with nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? And all of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all whole thing is like different. You know what I mean? To the point that walking up, walking up and trying to talk to a chick is like, is, is considered like weird taboo. now. No, I mean, it's like considered weird yeah, now. It's like taboo. You supposed to hit them, but in, in, in like saying something to somebody online is like normal now. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't man, man, just good luck with that, man, because the whole the whole human connection and all that, like 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 yeah, this kind of like pushing people farther apart. Even though it's supposed to connect everybody, it's like the whole real life connections and all that is like it's like it's like it's like falling off or something. Yeah, everything's just online. Everybody just trying to get each other, each other online and all that. Like you said, walking up and having a normal conversation with somebody, it look, uh, chicks be looking at you. Some of these dudes like they kids like dudes like they crazy. Right? How the hell you got all these people around and you ain't saying nothing to nobody? You know what I mean? Then then you go home and DM somebody. <laughs> I seen you at the party, <laughs> huh? You didn't even talk to her at the party, right. but then now they looking at you like if you do that, that's kind of starting to be like weird. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Yeah, man, everything just, 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 everything is flipped upside down now. You know what I mean? But just good luck with that, man. I, I was fortunate enough that we, we grew up most of our lives without this. Right. Thanks. So, so in an effect, that's like how it probably affects you because you from a younger, so I'm, I'm assuming you younger. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so, so that's just a problem with y'all, but y'all wanna, y'all just barely talk. Everything is just online. Online just matters so much. It don't, it don't, it don't matter to me like that because I didn't grow up with it. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not as attached to it. As probably you are. Yeah, I, it, you're right. I didn't think about that, but you're right. Because it's sometimes like you might text me. I don't, my phone might be upstairs. I'll be downstairs. But my kids, dog, they phone don't leave their side. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I don't always have my phone because, like, even my kids be like, yo, I text you, dad, like 20 minutes ago. My bad. My phone was like, I was in the basement. My phone right here. Why, why you got a phone if you don't ever have it with you? What? Like, I got to have this shit with me. But that's how they that's how they live though. Mm-hmm. My phone gotta be with me everywhere. I go to sleep with this shit in the bed. Like that's how they do it. Like I can't to me, I can't go to sleep with the with the phone in the bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they do that type of shit. Phone in the bed. You waking up with my phone, man. My, like, but I don't know. You're right. I didn't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the weird thing about it, we we look at it as they disconnected, but they probably look at it like we disconnected from the world because we not tapped into yeah, you know I mean the social medias and the shit like that. So we both looking at that shit. Yeah, you know I mean from two different perspectives. Yeah, you know I mean like they we looking at them like they disconnected from the world because this is how we live. They looking at us like we disconnected because we don't know what the latest trends and what's going on is. You know what I'm saying? The latest trends. People look at you like and, and just complain like, yo, you don't be posting nothing. Yeah. I live real life. I'm not jacked into whereas I gotta make sure I post something every single day. You know what I mean? That's that's just not gonna happen with me. I'm yeah. just I'm, I'm just I'm just not connected to it like that, attached to it like that. Like some of y'all who, know what I mean, that y'all, you're like, eh, you don't you, you barely post anything. Yeah, because I'm living everyday life. This is not that right. important to me to make sure I post something every single day. Yeah, a young boy, a young boy asked that question about us on the on the on, on the train. He's like, yo, y'all really homies? Cause like y'all don't never like post when y'all be like out chilling. I'm like, well, wouldn't that defeat the purpose, though? Because mm-hmm. if you're going out to enjoy the moment, like, what the fuck? I'm like... Because they live in a world where they share everything. Everything right. is everybody's business. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Everything is everybody's business. You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen or you didn't do it if you don't show everybody right. that it happened or you did it. Right, right. Yeah, you got to show me. I don't believe it didn't happen because you ain't show me that the shit didn't happen. So, yeah, you right, man. Yeah, you know I mean? we Look, man, we, we pretty much done, man. This is the second part of our... Um, What's your rank Q&A? Not just the second part. This is the only. We done. So, 
The what's your rank questions uh, you said before, man, go to another you know I mean, content creator, man. Maybe they could be better expertise in these things than we are. Man. We don't got the documentation on the walls to say that we therapists or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. There's some people out there, man. Find some podcasts. There's people that's like relationship yeah, experts and they really therapists, like yeah. therapists and all that. Yeah. That can help y'all if y'all got some real deeper questions and all that. I'm burnt out, man. It's the grand finale, man. Yeah, that's we the done, man. The grand finale. I think, I think I'm we knocked- burnt out. I really do think that we knocked this joint out route right, man. And I really I really do think that that What's Your Rank Part 3, that might be that that when that episode, because for some odd reason, y'all, y'all like gravitate to our episodes. I don't know what it is, like what type of type of uh listeners or, or, or cult type listeners we got. It'd be like certain days, y'all just go crazy on it. It might come out, y'all like slow walk it. Then it, you know I mean, two days later, it just, all right, then it'll go, you know what I mean? So. We appreciate y'all for everything, but I, I got a feeling that that episode going, yeah, I mean, surpass the part one because the part one is actually doing good, man. Um, we appreciate y'all for everything, man. We appreciate uh, all of our uh, new listeners, our new subscribers to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, we appreciate all of our audio subscribers, all your listeners, man. Um, all the new reviews and the ratings that we be getting on Spotify and Apple. Uh, we ask that you keep them coming, keep sharing our um. Our, our, our show, keep sharing the clips, you know what I'm saying? And we going to keep doing what we got to do to give y'all the content the way we give y'all the content. Anything you want to say? Yeah, um, you know, uh, thank everybody, you know what I'm saying, for, um, like I said, listening, um, subscribing, um, the play is going up, you know what I mean? Everything's going up, you know what I mean? We appreciate that. You know what I mean? Please continue into, you know, the women. Like I said, we not, we're not women, so we can't really... We can't really accurately answer some of these questions, but hopefully some women, some women out there, that are content creators can answer some of these questions for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so, so, so to some of y'all women content creators, you know what I mean, go on and I don't know, you know, I don't know, make a, I don't know, a clip or something like that, and try to answer some of these questions and help some people out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or a question about that come your way. Go on and, know what I mean, try to answer for them. Like I said, we not women, so we can't answer every question. I, I, I'm not a woman, know what I'm saying? Know what I mean, I wouldn't mind y'all, know what I'm saying, taking this and, and, and expanding on it or talking about it more from y'all woman's perspective and all of that. Know what I mean? We cool, know what I mean? I ain't going, know what I mean? I don't, I don't bite, know what I mean? Bless you. Yeah, know what I mean? I mean, I do bite, know what I mean? Not in that type of way, know what I mean? Like know what I mean? I ain't going to bite y'all head off and all that, know what I mean? Now, I mean, if y'all take this and if I say something, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to hit their mouth and all that. If they yeah. say something, no, don't worry about that. No, I mean, go ahead. Because some of these women need some answers that we cannot give. I don't have. I'm not a woman. So, yeah, definitely, man. And yo, uh, before we close out to all the fellow podcasters, man, again, we have been seeing that Yami mean, podcasting is not dead. If you, if you notice on your Apple phone, you notice that Apple has updated the podcasting app. So now that if you watch a show, you can see. Uh, what show, what channel that show is listed in, and all of the shows that you know I mean come with that channel. So what that what that does that is if a if a channel has a flagship show, now with that show they can highlight the other shows, just like Barstool has Million Dollars Worth of Game. So if you listen to Million Dollars Worth of Game, now you'll see that Barstool has that, and it'll show you the other shows that Barstool has. Okay. So it's just another way that you know I mean keep promoting the podcast so podcasters are looking to you know I mean diversify their portfolio by building their channels so podcasting is not dead trust me it's a lot of money in podcasting so for all of all my podcasters and future podcasting podcasters keep doing what you're doing man and we thank y'all for everything it's the earn an iso show y'all we out of here peace